Cosmosphere is a space museum and STEM education center in Hutchinson, Kansas, United States. It was previously known as the Kansas Cosmosphere. The museum houses over 13,000 spaceflight artifacts, the largest combined collection of U.S. and Russian spaceflight artifacts in the world, and is home to internationally acclaimed educational programs. Topic. Facilities The Cosmosphere grew from a planetarium established on the Kansas State Fairgrounds in 1962. The 105,000 square foot 9,800 square meters facility houses the largest collection of Russian space artifacts outside of Moscow, and a collection of U.S. space artifacts second only to the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. The Cosmosphere has four venues, the Hall of Space Museum, the Justice Planetarium, the Cary Digital Dome Theater, and Dr. Goddard's Lab, an explosive live science presentation on the history of rocketry. The Cosmosphere also hosts summer camps for all ages, and co-curricular applied STEM education programs for field trips, groups, and scouts that meet next-generation science standards and Common Core, focused on college and career readiness. The Cosmosphere is the only Smithsonian affiliate museum in Kansas. In 2012, the Cary Digital Dome Theater upgraded from IMAX to 4K digital projection. In 2015, the Justice Planetarium underwent a complete renovation, transitioning from an optical starball projection system to the Spitzai Dome XD digital projection system. Topic: Restoration and Replication. The Cosmosphere Spaceworks Division has restored flown U.S. spacecraft for museums and exhibits across the globe, including artifacts that are part of the collection of the Smithsonian Institution National Air and Space Museum. Two examples of this work are the Apollo 13 Command Module Odyssey, and the Liberty Bell 7 both on display at the Cosmosphere. The Cosmosphere built roughly 80% of the artifacts and props for the movie Apollo 13 and of the replicated spacecraft hardware seen in Magnificent Desolation, Walking on the Moon 3D, and the TV miniseries From the Earth to the Moon. Topic. Collection Flown items included in the Cosmosphere's collection are a Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, the Liberty Bell 7 Mercury spacecraft and the Odyssey command module from Apollo 13. Additionally, authentic Redstone and Titan II launch vehicles used in the Mercury and Gemini programs flank the building's exterior. A prized item on display is a moon rock from Apollo 11, the first manned mission to land on the moon. Every artifact on display at the Cosmosphere is either an actual flown artifact, a flight-ready backup, identical to the item actually flown, an engineering model, or an historically accurate replica. The Cosmosphere Museum begins with the earliest experiments in rocketry during the World War II era, explores through the space race and Cold War, and continues through modern times with the Space Shuttle and International Space Station, as well as spaceshipone and commercial spaceflight. Notable items on display. Germany restored World War II German V-1 flying bomb missile, authentic. Restored World War II German V-2 rocket, authentic. Section of the Berlin Wall, last section removed, authentic. Russia, Soviet Union, USSR Sputnik 1 flight ready backup. Apollo Soyuz test project craft joint venture with USA. Vostok Space Capsule competitor against Mercury program Voskhod 2 Space Capsule competitor against Gemini program Prototype and flown Russian space suits United States winged aircraft Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance plane flown North American X-15 rocket engine flown Replica of the Bell X-1 Glamorous Glennis, used in the filming of the Right Stuff movie Engine from Bell X-1 Glamorous Glennis, pilot Chuck Yeager flown Mercury Space Program Liberty Bell 7 Mercury spacecraft, recovered from the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. It is the only flown spacecraft owned by an entity other than NASA or Smithsonian owned by Cosmosphere.
Mercury Redstone Launch Vehicle Rocket Authentic Standing Vertical Outdoors Gemini Space Program Gemini X Space Capsule Flown Titan II rocket used in the Gemini program Authentic Standing Vertical Outdoors Apollo Space Program Apollo 13 Command Module Odyssey Flown Lunar Roving Vehicle Full Scale Replica Lunar Module Full Scale Replica Apollo White Room Moon rock collected during Apollo 11 Space Shuttle Space Program Full scale replica of Space Shuttle Endeavour Left side only Piece of tile from Space Shuttle Columbia Disaster Flown Various Space Programs Vanguard 1 Satellite Flight Ready Backup Prototype and Flown American Space Suits Topic. Education The Cosmosphere hosts summer camps for all ages, and co-curricular applied STEM education programs for field trips, groups, and scouts that meet next-generation science standards and common core, focused on college and career readiness. Topic. Scouting The Cosmosphere is a site for many programs for various scouting groups. There are programs available for Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and American Heritage Girls that meet program requirements and help Scouts earn merit badges. Topic. Controversy In November 2003, the Cosmosphere released a statement indicating that a routine audit had revealed many missing items from the museum. Over a year later, in April 2005, former Cosmosphere director Max Airy was charged with stealing artifacts from the museum's collection and selling the pieces for personal profit. Some of the missing items included a nose cone, silk screens, boot covers, nuts and bolts, an Air Force One control panel, and a tape of the Apollo 15 landing which Airy sold for $2,200. Additional charges involved the theft of dozens more artifacts from the Cosmosphere when he left in 2002, and false insurance claims made on the loss of an astronaut's Omega watch replica. Airy had also failed to notify NASA of the loss of the watch. Airy went on trial in 2005. He testified that the artifacts he sold were from his private collection which he had accumulated through undocumented trades and salvage of unwanted items. He also stated he had received numerous personal gifts from astronauts. Some of the items in question were supposedly brought with him from the Noble Planetarium in 1976 and incorporated into the Cosmosphere's permanent collection, and in many cases, ownership of artifacts could not be proved on Ares' behalf or the Cosmosphere's. Ares was found guilty on 12 counts. On May 15, 2006, he was sentenced to three years in prison and ordered to pay restitution of $132,000. In 2008 he lost his appeal, and began to serve his sentence in a federal prison in El Reno, Oklahoma on April 24, 2008. Airy has repeatedly proclaimed his innocence. He was released on good behavior in June 2010. Topic. See also Stratica, Salt Mine Museum, in Hutchinson Combat Air Museum in Topeka Kansas Aviation Museum in Wichita Mid-America Air Museum in Liberal List of Aerospace Museums List of Museums in Kansas <laughs>